Now, when it comes to the European Union and our relationship with the European Union, uh, m most parties have a different line. One party is saying, well, it's quite good because we can cut our greenhouse emissions and the like. And so it, it through the EU, so immigration doesn't matter. Another party is saying immigration isn't a problem because it works both ways and they are basically trying to tell us that the European Union is the greatest thing since sliced bread and everything's hunky-dory and what we need is more interference from Brussels. Another party mentions the problems brought about by immigration as well as other aspects of the European Union which are detrimental to us as a country and carry on talking about immigration and how we haven't got control of our borders while we are a member of, an EU, of the EU. In response to this another party shouts racist denies that it had an open door immigration policy and cries racist to the party that talks about immigration the most while actually um, denying that it actually did anything. Then there is the Conservative Party. The Conservative Party is, is the only party where we are willing to actually say that Labour's open door immigration policy has caused problems. And rather than just talking about them, we would like to find the solutions to these problems. Uh, immigration has caused problems, but the party that likes talking about immigration the most only talks about the problems and has no solution to the problems, while the other party, uh, which caused the problems, just shouts racist. Only the Conservative Party are, are seriously looking for answers to these problems. And the Conservative Party is the only party that wants to renegotiate our relationship with the European Union. Now, not only are we willing to negotiate, renegotiate, but after the renegotiations, we are going to give the people of this country an in-out referendum. Now, it just so happens that when you go canvassing on the doorstep, it is quite obvious that the majority of people in this country want an in-out referendum. Now, two, well, two parties can't well, they won't give one because they're pro-EU. Another party can only get one of the pro-EU parties into government, as can the other one. Only the Conservative Party want to give us a referendum and are able to deliver one. Now, only the Conservative Party are giving us a reference. Now, if you vote anybody but Conservative, you won't get a referendum. You could end up with Ed Miliband as Prime Minister, and then we're stuck in the EU, stuck with uncontrolled immigration, stuck with not being able to control um, our fishing waters so that uh, we, we are, have EU quotas on our fish and our fish are continuing to dwindle. This is actually why uh, this summer Ipswich has been plagued by herring gulls. Um, some of them have been swooping on people and stealing food. I mean, it, it's ending up because our fishing stocks 
are low because basically anyone in the EU can come into our fishing waters and take our fish. We need to have control of our fishing waters and that should be part of any renegotiation. And if we don't get it, I think we should leave the EU. But uh, as I said, uh, well, I think we should leave now anyway. But uh, finality is not the language of politics. So let's see what um, can be renegotiated. Now, as I said on another YouTube video, Now, the fact is, Ed Miliband will not offer us a referendum. One evidence? The most basic question of all is, do you want a referendum? Yes. I do. Does he? Yes. Ed Miliband. My position is no, we don't want it in our referendum. <laughs> right, so I think that makes it quite clear. If you want an EU referendum, in next year's general election, vote Conservative. If you want an EU referendum, you should vote Conservative. I think if you don't want an EU referendum, you should vote Conservative as well. But um, this is mainly uh, aimed at people concerned about immigration, EU, etc. Uh, if you want something done about uh, the situation, um, then vote Conservative.